Hello everyone! Welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. It's hard to say I'm excited for tonight. I think I said in the last one, it's horrific and I can't stop watching. So tonight I'm watching Chernobyl episode 3. I kind of want to just binge them all because I'm so into it. Like I think about it all during the day and just want to look up everything I can about it, but I don't. Not. I'm gonna wait until after to do some more serious research. Some of you had the advice of giving yourself time to process in between each episode because it is a lot. I've heard this one is especially rough, so as much as I'm looking forward to watching this incredible show, I'm nervous about what I'm going to see. Where we left off from the last episode was incredibly suspenseful and terrifying. They were in the dark with no light in that water, those three volunteers, and you could hear the scale thinging just going insane and oh my gosh, like how do they make that sound so terrifying? That's where we left off at an incredibly tense part. I'm hoping they're gonna be okay. I don't know if that's possible that they are. <sighs> okay, remember if you wanna check out full length reactions, have lots of input about what I watch next and just be part of a great community, you can check out my Patreon here. Also, it's always super helpful if you like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. Thank you guys so much for being here. I truly mean that. I'm truly so humbled and grateful for the support. So let's get started. HBO mini series. They really are good at these mini series. The three I've watched for this channel so far have all been incredible. So well done. Is there one that I should watch next on HBO? Another mini series? I really like the mini series. It's not too overwhelming like seven seasons or Game of Thrones. Oh no. Oh, that noise. Oh, I just get right into it. They're like literally saving the continent right now. Is it possible that the water has already killed them? Yes. So they're here to turn off the water? Oh, that's going crazy. And they work in a plant. Like, they know what that noise means. They live. Oh, I forgot about her. Uh, I'm here to see my husband. I'm sorry, no visitors. She hasn't seen him since that night he left. We can't be here, it's not safe. You can see him for 30 minutes, and you cannot touch him in any way. Do you understand? Oh, 1 15. No. You're not pregnant, are you? No. Oh, I thought she might have been because she was throwing up in the beginning, right? Oh, wait, 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 I haven't finished yet. No, no, he hasn't. There's no hiding from you, is there? Yeah. I thought he's not, she's not supposed yeah. to touch him. She's really not listening. These more helicopters trying to drop stuff on there? Someone decided the evacuation zone should be 30 kilometers. It was decided. Based on what? I don't know. Is this really the way it all works? An uninformed, arbitrary decision made by some career party man? I'm a career party man. You should watch your tone, Governor Nihazo. I'm a little confused at what he's <laughs> upset, upset about. There's a spike in Zirconium-95. Meaning what? The meltdown has begun. Oh, no. I feel like it's just gonna take years and years and years and years and years and years to clean up. Okay earlier. Well, 
The situation inside the core is deteriorating. Magasov estimates a 50% chance that the fuel will melt down into the groundwater itself. And where does this groundwater go? The primary water supply for 50 million people. We're recommending we install a heat exchanger under the pad, and in order to do that, I'm told that we will need all of the liquid nitrogen in the Soviet Union. Whatever you need, you have it. That should be clear yes. right now. Anything else? Uh, no, no. I'd like to address the 30-kilometer exclusion zone. Professor Legasov, is that you? I don't want questions. I want to know when this will be over. Why? You mean when will Chernobyl be completely safe? The half-life of plutonium-239 is 24,000 years, so perhaps we should just say not within our lifetimes. It will not be over in our lifetimes. Oh, he's gonna be in trouble. I think you and I should take a walk. What will happen to our boys? What does the radiation do to them? Ionizing radiation tears the cellular structure apart. Skin blisters, turns red and black. This is followed by a latency period. The patient appears to be recovering. It usually only lasts for a day or two. Was that what was happening to Vasily? The organs and soft tissue begin to decompose. The arteries and veins spill open like sieves. To the point where you can't even administer morphine for the pain, which is unimaginable. Three days to three weeks, you're dead. That is what will happen to those boys. And what about us? Oh my gosh. Cancer or a plastic anemia, either way, fatal. <gasps> In a sense, it would seem we've got enough easy then. Now you know why I wanted to take a walk. The work site is bugged. Who? The government is bugging them? Like, listening to them? They're just trying to help. They're not, like, doing some secret undercover coup. So paranoid, though, in this type of regime. Something I've wanted to ask you, comrade, but I see you already asking yourself. Why did it explode? I've worked the numbers over and over, and I always get the same answer. It's not possible. And yet, you're not going to solve this here. Everyone who's in the control room, they're all in Moscow. Go now while they're still alive. Talk to them. Yes. Because if we don't find out how this happened, it will happen again. I was told she was a fictional character, which makes me sad because I love her, but she's to represent the scientific community. If someone needs to figure out how this happened is right. What's as big as a house? Puts out a shitload of smoke and noise and cuts an apple into three pieces. A Soviet machine made to cut apples into four pieces! <laughs> These guys look rough. Are they miners? I'm Shadov, Minister of Coal Industries. I need all 100 men to gather their equipment and get on the trucks. To where? That's classified. Come on, then. Kill as many as you can. Whoever's left, they'll beat the living piss out of each of you. You can't talk to us like that. Shut the fuck up. Whoa. We don't leave unless we know why. You're going to Chernobyl. The reactor fuel is going to sink into the ground and poison the water from Kiev to the Black Sea. Forever, they say. They want you to stop that from happening. Oh. Now you look like the Minister of Coal. <gasps> now they'll do it. They gotta save their country. But they don't really know. <gasps> No touch. It's safe for them, it's safe for me. That looks unimaginably painful. Open the curtains. Uh. Hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tell me what you see outside. Oh my goodness. I can see the red square and the Kremlin. This is what's happening Don't to him, what Moscow, Professor was describing. Uh, is he gonna die? I'm not eating that is shit. I'm not a nurse, Comrade Dyatlov. Which one is he? Oh my gosh. The miners. I'm not good at this, Boris. The lying. Have you ever spent time with miners? No. Tell the truth. These men work in the dark. I see everything. Boris says he should tell them the truth. 
Do these work? To an extent. He takes the... So what's the job? We need to install a heat exchanger underneath this concrete pad. And what's above the pad? The core of the nuclear reactor. Is it going to fall on top of us? Not if you're done within six weeks. Break ground here. Take a tunnel 150 meters to here. You can't use any heavy machinery. It has to be done by hand. We're going to need more men. How deep do you want this tunnel? Six meters? Twelve. Twelve? That depth, you'll be shielded from much of the radiation. The entrance to the tunnel won't be 12 meters below ground. And we're not 12 meters below ground now. No. He's no dummy. We're not. We can start in the morning. We start now. I don't want my men here one more second than they need to be. If these worked, you'd be wearing them. Are they all like that? They're all like that. He knows he's still gonna do his job. How did they do this? Make it look like this. It all has to be done by hand. Sacrifice. I wonder why white clothes. We need fans. It's 50 degrees in there. It's like a fucking oven. Fans will put dust in the air. I've been breathing dust in my lungs for 20 years. Not this dust. I'm sorry. It's 50 degrees in there. <gasps> I remember him. My name is Elton. Senior React Control Chief. Look at him. Senior Engineer. How old are you? I'm 25. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm here. I'm here. Oh my gosh. Have you been here this whole time? And I've been looking after him. Where have you been? I've been in the north and west wing, where there are dozens of patients from Chernobyl exactly like him. It isn't safe for you He's here. my husband. Not anymore. He's dangerous to you. He's burned. Go home, please. It won't take much longer. I don't want him to die, though. <gasps> Stay on the other side of the plastic. She knows that he's going to die. It's gone. Uh-huh. I'm gonna have a baby. Oh no. Mm, she was pregnant. Mm, what is she doing? That happened so long. The fire's sick. It's out, Valera. They say the whole job will be finished in four weeks. Four weeks? I know the job isn't over, but it's the beginning of the end. He doesn't get it, but I really am starting to like him. It's the minus. Oh, oh my gosh. That cannot be good for their skin. Oh, okay. <sighs> We're still wearing the fucking hats. You're not as protected. Can you tell them they'll make a difference? When this is over, will they be looked after? I don't know. They better be. So the power level jumped from 200 to 400 megawatts. Why didn't you initiate an emergency shutdown? Why didn't you press the AZ-5 button? I did. That's not possible. And that's when it exploded. What? <sighs> Which room is Akimov? 27. <laughs> I pressed it before the explosion. In the moment that happened. Thank you, Comrade Akimov. You would just want to die. I did everything right. I did everything right. I would be begging. Go. Let me go. You let her in that room inside the plastic. Did you know she's pregnant? What have you done? What kind of a place is this? People are going to hear about this. You understand? Everyone is going to hear. What is everyone going to hear? 
I'm with the official Chernobyl Commission. My name is Ulana Hom. We know who you are. What is everyone going to hear? Oh my gosh. Are they going to hurt her? Homilk was arrested last night. I'm working on it. I'll see you now. Oh, please, please, please listen. The immediate danger is over. Now I'm afraid a long war must begin. A zone of approximately 2,600 square kilometers must be completely evacuated. All animals, whether domesticated or wild, will have to be destroyed to prevent the spread of radiation and disease. We will have to raise entire forests. We will have to rip up the top layer of earth and bury it under itself 100 square kilometers. We will need to construct a containment structure around the power plant itself. There will be deaths. Oh, my goodness. How many men do you require? An approximately 750,000 men. How many deaths? Perhaps tens of thousands? Begin at once. So they're listening. They're going to do what he says. My associate was arrested last night. I don't know who you're talking about. She was arrested by the KGB. You are the first deputy chairman of the KGB. That's why I don't have to bother with arresting people anymore. But you are bothering with having us followed. I know you've heard the stories about us, but we are not what people say. Yes, people are following you. People are following those people. The KGB is a circle of accountability. You really don't trust us. Of course I do. But you know the old Russian proverb, trust but verify. It was very nice speaking with you. I need her. So you will be accountable for her? Then it's done. Her name? I know who she is. He did it. Boris is like, you just can't help yourself. That went surprisingly well. <laughs> you came off like a naive idiot. Naive idiots are not a threat. Are you all right? They didn't hurt me. I came over. His face was gone. You want to stop? Is that a choice I even have? Do you think the fuel will actually melt through the concrete pad? 40% chance, maybe. I said 50. By the way, the numbers mean the same thing, maybe. Even the miners I've told to dig under the reactor will save millions of lives. Maybe I'm killing them for nothing. I don't want to do this anymore. Well, you and me, just probably wants to run away. I don't think you have a choice any more than I do. The problem has been assigned and you will stop at nothing until you find an answer. That is who you are. A lunatic then. A scientist. So did she figure it out from talking to them? Akimov says, and Dr. Nov confirms it, Akimov pressed AZ-5 and then the reactor exploded. If it had been just one of them, I would have put it down to faulty memory. They were adamant. What does that mean? Do you think it's possible? I think it's what I would say if I was trying to cover my own mistakes. But? I believe them. Then you should pursue it. I think no matter how unlikely, it. no matter what or who is to blame. I'll go back to the hospital and re-interview Akimov and Dr. Nov. They're not going if they're still awake. They're not. evacuating more people now? Or are they drafting people? that sick feeling again. I don't know how many firefighters and people that were in the control room died, but that is a death that no one should have to have. His wife, I mean, I get it. I would want to be there with him too, but she had to have known in the back of her mind that she was putting her baby in extreme danger. So much went on in this episode. I'm really starting to like Boris, the miners. Oh my gosh. I think they actually made me laugh in this episode, which is crazy that in 
a series about Chernobyl, they can make me laugh. I feel like they were this other kind of breed and they weren't like scared of the USSR and or the KGB and they just put their heads down and got to work because it had to be done. I feel like they're finally listening but like the amount of stuff they need to do to contain this for the future is insurmountable it seems. Oh, and we're finally on to getting to the bottom of what happened, what actually caused it. I just feel like every actor in this show is just so good, hauntingly good. I know the next episode is going to be extremely rough, I've heard. I'm not gonna watch it quite yet. Give myself a day or two. That one, that one is going to stick with me. I'm so happy that I've seen some comments say that they hadn't watched this before but saw me react to episode one and decided to watch it and love it and we are finding more about Chernobyl together and experiencing this amazing miniseries. Let me know if you're watching along with me and thank you as always for being here. You guys are the best. Good night.